Good morning, Village School, and welcome to our live newscast. Your newscast is uh, Chris from Mrs. Lococo's class. And also Julia from Mrs. Lococo's class. Today is Friday, March 23rd, 2012. It is the day one. Today's character education thought of the day is good friends forgive each other for mistakes. Now to our weather center. Today is expected to be partly sunny. And the current temperature is 54 degrees Fahrenheit. The high is expected to be 74 degrees Fahrenheit. The low this evening it will be 52 degrees Fahrenheit. Tomorrow is expected to be cloudy with scattered showers. The high is expected to be 68 and a low of 51. Looking at the radar, we are looking clear for today, but clouds and rain move in over the weekend. There will be outdoor recess today. If you look up to the night sky tonight, here is what the moon will look like. Not, still not much to look at as we wait for the new moon to transform into a full moon. Today's lunch will be whole grain cheese or pepperoni pizza. At this time, please stand for the flag salute. I, I pledge allegiance to the flag. Today's third graders have the Kevin Two Steps Assembly today. Enjoy, it's lots of fun. I hope everyone enjoyed the Girl Scout presentation yesterday. Your class should be receiving your supplies on Monday or Tuesday. Now it's time for another edition of Science Friday. Good morning. Yes, I'm Max from Miss Pimentero's class. Today's demonstration will be making a light bulb. Remember before. Remember, before you start any activity at home, be sure to ask your parents for permission and make sure they are around to supervise. For this experiment, you will need 8 D cell batteries, 0.5 millimeter lead for a lead pencil, wire, 2 alligator clips, a glass, 3 inch piece of a piece of a paper towel tube, a tin pan or tin foil, and electric tape. Now, here is how to make a light bulb. First, connect the batteries together in a long line. Connect two pieces of wire to the alligator clips. Attach the alligator clips to the paper towel tube. Put it all on a safe surface like an aluminum pan or tin foil. Place one piece of pencil lead between the alligator clips. Put the cup or jar on top and give it a try. Here's what the finished product looks like. Just touch the ends of the wire to the battery to complete the circuit. Let's try it now. The electricity flowed through the lead pencil through the lead pencil and allowed it to heat up and give off light and heat. Since things can heat up, allow everything to cool off to avoid burning yourself. Science rocks! Now back to our broadcasters, Julie and Chris. Thanks, Max. Cool demonstration. Before we sign off, we would like to thank Mrs. Venata for her help up with the news this week. Look, looks like she's all, she is all right for spring. For the VES News Network, this is Julia signing off. And Chris signing off. Tune in on Monday for another edition of the VES News. Have, Have a fantastic, fantastic fun Friday, Friday and a wonderful weekend. weekend.